Hey everyone, welcome back to Lolo Creates. Today's video is going to be my September Bujo setup in my Loikstrom 1917 Bullet Journal Edition. This month's theme was the sky's the limit or hot air balloons with some clouds and I used watercolor this month and paired it with some calligraphy and bold block fonts. I really like this theme. It's very simple but it's still cute and I'm playing with watercolors so I'm not perfect at watercolor yet. And then I decided to do a September trackers page on the left because that's what I was really missing last month in my bullet journal. So I'm tracking hydration, putting my retainer in because I'm really bad at that, uh, my bible and mood. I haven't filled out every day yet but I have done a lot and I added a mini calendar because last month I didn't really need the huge one that I had because I never wrote anything in it. I just wrote stuff in the little calendar section so that's good. And then I have random to do's because I needed that section last month. And I also have my YouTube growth tracker as well as a little decoration on the side. I wish I had a little bit more room for my YouTube growth tracker. Maybe I'll move something next week, but I really like the one column for things happening this month and everything. And then for the weekly pages, I have it set up in the horizontal just like last month, and that really works for me. So then I have a hot air balloon with some clouds in September written on the left, and I use watercolors for the hot air balloon. I also have a bold font for the days of the week and I actually did mess up with a pen so that's why I decided to go over it with some marker. And then I have this week and then a little monthly calendar as well as this little Polaroid type thing. And then I have the same setup with this week, for the month, the days of the week. And again, that picture that's not a Polaroid, but it's more like a drawing with a little drop shadow and some fake washi tape that I drew on. And I used watercolor on this page, and I think it looks really good. And the 16th is my birthday, so I don't know what I'm doing yet. And then on the next page, it's the same layout. I haven't put the lines in for this week yet, but I have the weekly setup and the little picture on the side. As you can see, these boards are really easy to make. All you need is a sponge, a canvas, and your creativity. Add in some lines for the week before, but I think it looks really good. At first I didn't really like it, but I think that's because I'm a little too hard on myself when I do artistic stuff, and I'm getting better about that, and I'm also improving on drawing and painting and everything while I'm doing the bullet journal. So, yeah, I really recommend doing the bullet journal if you're not organized and planners don't work for you and you want to get better at doing creative things. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Go check out my Instagram as well as Twitter. And don't forget to check out my last videos. Bye guys. See you next time.